everyone and welcome to the dentist hub. In today's video, we will be learning about serostomia or dry mouth. Serostomia is not a disease but can be a symptom of certain diseases. Its etiology may be studied under two headings, the temporary causes and the permanent causes. The temporary causes include psychological factors, duct calliculi, sialadenitis and drug therapy. The permanent causes include salivary gland aplasia, Jogren syndrome, other systemic disorders, radiotherapy and surgical desalivation. Let us now learn in detail about each of these causes. The temporary causes It may include psychological factors like anxiety and depression they cause reduced salivary flow. These psychological problems are often treated with drugs which may be salivary inhibitors. Drug therapy Anticholinergic and sympathomimetic agents and diuresis produced by drugs or alcohol can result in dehydration and xerostomia. Zeban, a newly introduced drug to aid smoking cessation, can cause xerostomia. Sialadenitis, it is the inflammation of salivary glands and can cause reduced secretion of saliva. The duct calliculi, blockage of the duct of a major salivary gland can produce dryness on the affected side, together with pain and swelling in the gland. The permanent causes may be the Jogren syndrome which is a combination of dry mouth, dry eyes and rheumatoid arthritis. It mainly affects women over 40 years of age and is often accompanied by a mild fever. Salivary gland aplasia. It is the congenital absence of one or more major salivary glands. Surgical desalivation. Surgery or physical trauma to the salivary gland duct may lead to the damage of gland or duct, blood or nerve supply and impair the secretion of saliva. Other systemic disorders include the diabetes mellitus, Parkinson's disease and cystic fibrosis and sarcoidosis which are associated with xerostomia. Radiotherapy Therapeutic radiography for head and neck tumors may lead to the malfunction of salivary gland and leads to xerostomia. The clinical features include unilateral dryness with pain or discomfort and swelling in the affected gland on stimulation. This indicates the presence of duct calculus. In case of Jogren syndrome, there is bilateral swelling accompanied by the other symptoms of the syndrome and lymph node enlargement. The mucosa will appear dry and atrophic, inflamed or pale and translucent. The tongue may manifest the deficiency by atrophy of the papillae, inflammation, fissuring and cracking. Chronic xerostomia predisposes to rampant dental caries and subsequent loss of teeth. Patients with xerostomia have difficulty with artificial dentures. Treatment of xerostomia Eliminating etiological factors such as drugs, calculi and emotional problems might help in treating the dry mouth. Promoting salivary stimulation by using sugar-free chewing gum is effective and convenient. Salivary substitutes can also be given. Thank you for watching. Do like the video if you found it informative. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the Dentist Hub for more updates.